going to be going over three different ways to wrap your hands. So this is going to be the first wrap I'm going to show you. This one is good to wear under your gloves or for shadow boxing. Only reason because it doesn't have a lot of knuckle protection. So it's not good for the double M bag. It's not too good for the speed bag because those are leather. You don't want to nick your knuckles, scratch up your knuckles on that leather. But this is good for under your boxing gloves, under your MMA gloves because you got a lot of knuckle protection with the gloves. So this is going to support a little bit more on the hand, a little bit more on the wrist, less on the knuckles. And this is a 108 inch hand wrap. So you're just going to start with your hoop. Some hand wraps have this side down. It'll have written on it. You'll see in the third wrap that I show you. This one you just go by the sole. So you can see that this side is the side that goes down. Just going to start over the thumb. Come around the wrist. Come right up to the palm. That first wrap I want to get a little bit of cover right on the knuckles. Okay. Then I'm going to go straight back down to the wrist. Just go back and forth between the palm and the wrist, making sure to cover anything that's not covered. Okay. Real simple wrap this one. Never wrap too tight. You could easily cut off circulation. You just want it snug. So you don't want to go too tight. You also don't want it too loose. And you'll know right away if you uh if you put it too tight, you'll feel it immediately. Just finish up on the wrist. So this is the first wrap we're going to go over. Just a standard wrap. This is with 108 inch Everlast hand wraps. And this is good to put under your gloves or to shadow box with. Going to be going over the second way to wrap your hand. This one is a good one for a double end bag, speed bag, under the glove, shadow boxing. This one I got a little bit more knuckle protection here. So that's why this one you could use for just about anything. So when we're hitting the double end bag, when we're hitting the speed bag, it's going to protect our knuckles a little bit better. I always like hitting the double end bag and the speed bag without gloves on, just hand wraps. So this is the type of wrap I would use when I'm uh, shadow boxing, when I'm hitting the double end bag, hitting the speed bag, or even under my gloves. I always wear this type of hand wrap. So this is the second wrap I'm showing you. So we're going to start with the hoop right over the thumb, just like in the first wrap. Going to come across the wrist. As soon as we come under the wrist, we're going to use the thumb. We're going to go right up through the first knuckles, right here. Going to come straight down, come around the thumb again, Go through the second, straight down, come around the thumb again, go through the third set of knuckles, come down, come around the thumb again, this one we're going to come right across, come straight up so that we can wrap around the palm. As soon as you come around the palm, the first thing we want to do is get a good cover on those knuckles that we just protected, right? Come back around the palm and come down to the wrist. Now we're gonna go wrist, palm, wrist, palm, back and forth. Make sure to get a good cover on everything. And we're gonna finish up on the wrist. And that's a standard 108 inch hand wrap. This one's got a lot more protection on the knuckles than that first wrap I showed you. So this one's good for the speed bag, double M bag, heavy bag, shadow boxing, a little bit of everything. This third wrap I'm going to be showing you, this is a 180 inch hand wrap. This is a title classic. This one we're going to get a lot of protection on the knuckles, good amount of protection on the wrist, and a good amount of protection on the hand. Because it's the 180 inch hand wrap, it's going to be a lot more. So this is better for somebody who gets any type of pain when punching, uh, any type of previous hand injuries. Um, you want a little extra protection, you use the 180 inch hand wrap. And this one's got a lot of protection on the knuckles. So I'm going to show you this wrap now. We're going to start with the hoop over the thumb. And these hand wraps have, like I said before, they have the, this side down there for you. So you know which part of the wrap to put down. That way you end up correct when you finish with your Velcro. So this wrap, we're going to go five times directly around the knuckles. So that's one there. Two. Always remember not too tight. That's the third one. Four. 
fourth rep. And fifth rep. As soon as we get that fifth rep around the knuckles, we're going to come down right here. And we're going to use the thumb. Go through the first set of knuckles. Come straight down. Back around the thumb. Go through the second set of knuckles. Come straight down. Over the thumb. Hit our third set of knuckles. Okay. You never want it to be too tight. You want to keep it a little bit loose. Just snug. Come right across. Right up here. Come right back around the palm. And get a good cover on those knuckles that you just wrapped. Gonna come back around the palm. Now we're gonna come straight down to the wrist. Come around the wrist. Back up to the palm. We're just gonna finish up by going in between the palm and the wrist. Palm and the wrist. So this wrap is gonna give a lot more protection on the knuckles than any standard wrap. Mainly because it's the 180 inch, so you got a lot more to work with. So you could get that thick wrap there before covering the knuckles. This was gonna help you out a lot. So this is a 180 inch hand wrap. This is the third wrap I'm showing you guys. This one's good for under your gloves, for shadow boxing, for speed bag, double end bag. Good for a little bit of everything. Be sure to subscribe to Pride Martial Arts for more videos. Hope you like this video.